Hello everybody, um, it's Killer Kraz and we're back with day two of Animal Crossing. Now, I already have some broken promises and said that this episode, uh, from la last episode I announced that this episode would be a different format and it would be edited, blah blah blah. Um, so sorry guys, I have two midterms on Wednesday, this is being live streamed on Monday, episode one, which was streamed yesterday was uploaded tonight um so that means tomorrow i'm gonna be studying all day um and i don't have time i wish i did um i really want to give this series the best uh, i i have testing testing test 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 hello every oh dear so sorry about that the volume was a little loud there hello everyone Starting today, I'll be doing an island-wide broadcast full of island updates, going-ons, and such, hmm? I'll go over some things that are very important to island life, so lend me your island ears for a short time. Now, it's only fitting that we kick off this daily routine with a doozy of island announcements. The Wall, a the wall Airport is now open for business. Starting today, you can use online or local communication to fly to other islands for a visit. That's not all, no, no. The airport counter now offers postal services. And just like the resident services center, the airport is open 24 hours a day, so please do drop by for a look. Oh, and I do have one other item to share, and it too is a whopper, hmm? As of this day, a brilliant fellow by the name of Blathers will be joining us on wall. Blathers has a keen interest in biology, past and present, and he's here to study wall. I sincerely hope that everyone lends their cooperation. Uh, ink... Oh, God. Ink... Inquis inquisitive resident should stop by f his tent for details. That's all for me. Time for y'all to get out and enjoy your day. Yes, yes. I do know Isabel um eventually joins us. Um, very interested in one. So yeah, like I was saying, I I have midterms. Please do understand that I am going to suffer a lot tomorrow. I trust me. I would rather be editing this video for you guys. But, um, yeah, I'm going to be dying. So, again, apologies in advance. But, um, you could, you could just chalk it up to it being a skill issue on my end. So, first things first, let's go see Blathers. This isn't edited, by the way, so, again, sorry. Um, again, broken promises. I know, I know, bad YouTuber, blah, blah, blah. Sorry, 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 sorry. Um, anyways, uh, let's talk about my day today. Or, well, I guess anyone's day. Well, first let's talk to Blathers. How about that? Hey, Blathers. Hello. A pleasure to meet you. My name. Okay, I'm not. <laughs> My name is Blathers. I'm ex I'm exceedingly interested in the ecosystem of this island. Thus, I have come to the co uh, to conduct research, if you will. Aha! Uh -huh. Could it be that you are Brick, the personage who is uh who chose the location for this tent? I am. A splendid job indeed. Thanks to you, I was able to alight this island with a merry and a ruffled feather. Now, regarding the aforementioned research, truth be told, I am determined to open a museum and, henceforth, dwell on this island amongst you. So, should you discover a new type of insect or fish, do be so kind as to bring it here. I plan to exhibit these creatures as well as the ones you gave to Tom Nook in the museum upon its completion. Though, I confess, there is one smallest problem regarding said museum. That is, I lack the number of exhibits needed to secure permission to open the proper um, museum proper. Empty display cases will not do, I'm told. Display cases with something to display. That is another matter. Which is where you come in. Would would <laughs> allow me to explain. You see, it is not only insects and fish I plan to display in my esteemed institution, but fossils too, who as it happens, this is a substantial stretch of land beyond this river. I would bet my pin feathers this primitive plot is flush with fossils I require. But the river, you say? I can't just hop over it, you say? Ooh, silly you. I have a solution as audacious as trying to populate an entirely deserted island. Pardon me, Brick, while I trans uh, transmit the vital data to your nook phone. There, you see, with wood gathered from wall, one can make a lengthy vaulting pole. The pole can be used to propel oneself across the river. Up and over you go, hooty hoo. 
I said DIY schematics for a shovel to dig fossils from the ground as well. Which brings me to my point. Please, Brick, cross the river and seek out these ancient relics. My feathers, I have blubbered on for far too long. But let me leave you with this. If I am open to the museum, I must acquire more items to exhibit. Fifteen more, to be precise. I fervently hope you will donate your precious finds to this cause. We will. Now, with that being said, please let me know if you have items to donate or need assistance. I am here to help, who? Let's make a donation. We have a couple donations. So... Oh, please tell me we're not gonna have to- we're gonna do this one by one. Eek! A bell cricket? The horror! The repugnance! Good heavens, I must maintain my composure. Um, I beg your pardon, bugs. I do detest them. Still, there's much I can tell you about the insect you apprehended, if you insist, that is. Yeah, let's learn about them. Ah, I see. In that case, um, the call of the bell cricket her uh, heralds the arrival of autumn, and I can see it is a rather pleasant sound. What I do not find pleasant is the way these things rub their strange wings together to make their song thick and black. And to make matters worse, bell crickets have been known to shed two of their four wings. And they simply leave these wings where they fall, as if they were litter. I simply cannot abide by such odious behavior. Any hoot, my sincerest thanks for your donation. And though bugs are the bane of my existence, rest assured that the wretched thing will be will, will get the best care of here. By the by, I wonder if you have anything else that could be donated. And if so, might I take it for you? Yeah. Marvelous. What would you like to donate? Well, we have a hermit crab. Now I like the hermit crab. Eek! A hermit crab! What a wretched thing. Alas, I'm obliged to ask. Would you like to learn more about this specimen? Yes. Ah, I see. In that case, um... The hermit crab is not an insect, though it most certainly resembles one. Blah. It looks much like a spider, with its creepy eyes and crawly legs, but is, in fact, a crustacean. As such, the hermit crab has ten legs and also wears a shell, but it doesn't grow the shell itself. It slips its soft body into shells left behind by snails, you see, and moves into ever larger ones as it grows. Talk about a strange way to make a home. Any hoots, my sincerest thanks for your donation. And though bugs are the bane of my existence, we've heard this one before. Yep, we do have more stuff to be donated. Yep. Let's go. Nice, we have like three more keys, two more keys. Sea bass. Hooty hoo! This must be a sea bass. Now, might I interest you in a few fascinating facts about your sea bass? Wonderful! I would love nothing more. Sea bass is a name given to a variety of different species of saltwater fish. They are a varied bunch with some as small as 4 inches and some as staggering ginormous as 8 feet. Sea bass is a bit pedestrian, though. Many species have better names, such as red banded perch, or the delightful whimsical dusky grouper, or the potato cod. Will no one think of the pink Lamoa? And there you have it. Fascinating stuff, no? Bravo, and thank you. Once the museum is complete, it shall be displayed with the most dig dignity. Yep, we do have more stuff. By the way, um, for all my YouTube folks uh, that are watching the videos and not the streams, if this is more of your uh, style of content that you like to enjoy and digest, I would recommend watching the streams because the, the videos will be highlights after I'm done with these midterms. So it's going to pretty much turn into a highlight uh, where I show off what I did that day, uh, do a voiceover. It'll probably be close to like eight to ten minutes, maybe. Depends how big the day is. But uh, in these streams, we'll be we'll be going over like, oh yeah, we'll we'll be having conversations. We'll be build, building relationships. Maybe in the highlights, I'll leave some stuff. But for the most part, if this is your type of content, please tune into the streams. Not the videos, because the videos, again, highlights, and potentially uh, some dialogue with characters, but probably will get uh, overlooked. Eek! A cricket! What a wretched thing. Alas, I am obliged to ask, would you like to learn more about the specimen? This entire conversation would have been skipped. <gasps> ah, I see. In that case, um, I say, 
Or shall I start with the cricket? Well, to begin with, they are mostly nocturnal creatures. And for that, you day-loving di- uh, dior- Diurnal types should be grateful. Phew, it means you don't have to lay your eyes upon their prickly legs or overly long antennae. Like us night owls. Is that antenna? I don't think so. Of course. Crickets are best known for the chirping sounds they make by rubbing their wings together. Some find the noise lovely to listen to. Alas, it only serves to remind me of another unpleasant fact. Which is to say, you will find a cricket's ears right next to its knees. It's gone weak in the knee I've gone weak in the knees to mention it. Any hoot, my sincerest thanks for your donation. And though bugs are the bane if yep, we this one. With this, we need a look at more donations to open the museum. Needless to say, I am eager to accept your continued contribu uh, contributions. Thank you. Goodbye, Blathers. We we appreciate Blathers. Yes, we do. Fuck. Fuck. Nice. We got... Yes, I caught a mob. I had a ball doing it. Let's go immediately and give it back to him. So this video is probably going to be around an hour. I'm probably going to stream for around an hour. Because again, uh, midterms and stuff like that. I would rather study or rest than study tomorrow. Please let me know if you have items to donate. Yep, we do. Marvelous! What would you like to donate? Donate the moth. Eek! A moth! What a wretched thing. Alas, I'm obliged to ask. Would you like to learn about this specimen? Yes, we would. Ah, I see. In that case, um, many think the moth is strictly a nocturnal creature. Alas, no. These frightful fluttering beasts have been known to haunt the daylight and twilight hours too. Thus, there is no time of day one might escape the moth trait I dislike most of all. Those feathery antennae. The mere thought of them gives my feather goosebumps, and I'm no goose. Any hoot. My sincere thanks for your donation, and um, uh, we, we, we know this one. Okay. Thank you, Blathers. Ten more donations. Needless to say, I am eager to accept your contribu uh, continued contributions. Who? Thank you, Blathers. I appreciate you uh, being here. We are indeed Blathers fans. Oh, it looks like there's another moth. Like a moth to a flame. I caught a moth, and I had a ball doing it. I don't get that joke. Is it a joke? What is this? We found, oh, a message bottle. To someone out there somewhere, the latest trend to hit the ones is a little something I call self-care. And how can you do that if you can't see yourself? So take a little you time to make this and any other recipe that floats ashore. From rare DIY icon, hands. Wooden table mirror. That's pretty cool. Huh, okay. Sweet! I learned a DIY recipe for a wooden table mirror. Alright, let's see if there's anything else. Ooh, fish. Uh, oh, I just gave it off. It's fine, we didn't have a fish around anyways. Okay, so... Sorry, we're playing at no Oh, whoa, fuck. Evening, partner. How's your night going? Let's chat. Hey, isn't that the hat I gave you? Looks great. Really shows off your head muscle, partner. Thanks. I don't think it looks that good, but I'll take a compliment. Gotta talk, partner? Yeah, let's talk. This place gets me so pumped. The breeze, the crashing waves, nature all around us. It's all awesome. I just want to jog laps around the island and catch bugs and fish. And lift and lift and lift, partner. Hell yeah. Well, I gotta go to the gym tomorrow. I didn't go today. Uh, I had school today. Oh, Brig, it's good to see you. How are you enjoying island life? Pretty good. Hmm, you know, shaking trees or cutting them down can sometimes knock loose a wasp nest. So be careful. Your face might get all puffy if you get stung while tingling with angry wasps. I've heard of puffy faced folks getting re stung and then fainting. So don't press your luck. In resident services, we sell medicine that'll help with insect stings and bug, uh, bites and such. If I were you, I think I'd carry some with me at all times. We could die. 
Animal Cro when <laughs> Animal Crossing series ends when we die. <laughs> no, it's not. That's a joke, by the way. I just, just want to throw that. So now that we're done, let's see what you're selling today. Welcome, Brick. How can I help you today? What's for sale? Here's what we have to sell today. Toolbox and an outdoor generator. We have some candy. Pumpkin start. Ooh, flimsy shovel. That is exactly what we want. I'll buy it. Excellent purchase. Yes, thank you for the 800 bells. Anything else look interesting? No. Um, give me... Okay. No. Nothing else looks interesting. Thank you. Please don't hesitate to ask me for assistance. I will because I'm going to sell you these bugs. I want to sell. Of course. What exactly are you offering? The bell cricket. The cricket. The moth. The black bass. And the talipa. And this coral. Confirm. Look at all the fights we need to buy them today. Allow me just a moment to run the numbers. And done. I can buy these for you for a total of 2,390 bells. Sounds good. Sold. Thank you. Please come again. Thank you. Uh, anything in here? No. Hey. Ah, Brick. Hello, hello. What would you like to talk to me about? I'm all ears. What should I do? Yes, yes. That is the question. Well, I don't mean to rush you. But, yeah, 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 you said this last time. Okay. Let's see. Let's craft that stick. That vaulting pole. Oh, my God. He would have given us a shovel. So, we need one more piece of wood. Uh, let's get... Oh, we can't even craft it. Okay, so let's get one more piece of wood. And let's get... um. What else? One more piece of wood and one more stick. Here's a stick. Um, actually, let's... Oh, look, we have a message. October 2nd. Good news! We reached a new tape deck, uh, deck in front of resident services so you can enjoy group stretching sessions. Remember, happy island living begins with daily exercise. In front of resident services. Oh, a tape deck. Yeah, let's stretch. Why not? Let's go do a group stretching session. Why the frick not? Group stretching instructions. There are two play options. Move your body while holding a Joy-Con or press buttons on a controller. You must be using a Joy-Con controller to play using body movement. Um, when the session starts, movements will be uh, movement guides or button prompts will be shown on the screen. Follow along with the guide and try to move with everyone else. This group button stretching session will start with button control since we are not using a Joy-Con controller. Okay. Put some pep in your movements. Uh, I gotta connect my Joy-Cons and we gotta... We gotta do this on my Joy-Cons for sure. This is interesting. <laughs> this is funny. <laughs> I'm like trying to focus because I don't want to mess up. I wonder if we get anything cool for this. Is 
this is this is interesting. I kind of like this. This is imagine if I had the Joy-Con. This would be pretty good. Nice. Cool. That was cool. Okay. Oh, is that it? We we'll just get a group stretching session? Sure. Let's see. What do we get? Nook phone life. Why do you see your nook phone? The fact that you're reading this probably means you have. Sure. Oh, we're really close. We're only a thousand away. Wait, hold on. Active island resident. What does that mean? Let's see. What can we do? Life on the line has lots of to illustrate auto award use and the oh active days I see. First custom design. Okay, maybe we'll do that. Once per day. Okay. Furniture items. We gotta write something. We gotta spend some bills. Okay. Okay, so let's let's do a couple things first. Well, first things first, let's get a picture. Sure. Yeah. Cool. Now for my passport, where would I go? Oh, here it is, okay. Next, close. So let's edit comments. Um, let's put, let's just put a, a hi for now. So hi, close. Now we should get uh, some things, right? Yeah, nice. Okay, so we got 300 there. Cool. And another 300. So we are 450 away. So let's go do that ADT thing. So we're going to touch the ATM and we should get like another 50, something like that. I think we got 50 last time. So I'm just going to go ahead and assume. Let's see. Oh, 80, okay. So only 300 left. 300 nook miles and then we'll be able to um, progress in the game, I think. Oh shoot, what am I doing? We're supposed to be getting um, thingies. Let's go for some more nook miles actually. And then we could uh, continue. Uh, fill your Critterpedia. Uh, okay. Um, flower power, look at the bunch, clams, okay, so we gotta get some more seashells. Um, oh, let's put something on the bulletin. post let's uh let's actually draw let's go with uh oops let's go with a hello wow that is a uh, a weird oh and we'll put a smiley face. Done. Mm -hmm. Cool. Now this should be it, right? 300? Nice. 5,000, we did it. Let's go pay off our house or our tent, I guess. 
cool. Hey. Ah, Brick, hello, hello. What do you want to talk to me about? I'm all ears. About my moving fees. Oh, you like to pay your moving fees. Very well, you owe 5,000 miles. I'm ready to pay. Thank you so much. Indeed, that is 5,000 miles and not a mile less. With that, your moving fees have been paid in full. This is a happy day for us both, hmm? Yes, yes, you're free and clear of death, living on a thriving scenic island. What could be better? Oh, that wasn't actually a rhetorical question. Let me be more specific. How is that tent treating you? Uh, it's fine, I guess. Oh, oh, just fine. But consider, doing fine on a formerly deserted island is actually quite good, hmm? Together, we're rich shaping this barren wasteland, I mean, pristine paradise into a lovely community. <laughs> ah, yes. But we mustn't rest on our laurels, hmm? Perhaps there is more we could do. Yes, yes. I suppose time is right to discuss the possibility of building custom homes. Now, there's a certain challenge to building a fabulous home in a remote location such as this. Challenges that do translate directly into cost, I'm afraid. But with a zero interest financing and an extremely lax repayment plan, anything is possible. So Brick, if you ever find yourself interested in a new home, do come see me. Oh, one more thing to share. We have a mile redemption service for the next miles you've collected. Once, uh, When you access the next stop, you'll be able to redeem your miles for lots of interesting things. You'll be sure to check it out sometime soon, hmm? Well then, I hope we can do, uh, you continue to enjoy your getaway package life. Cool. We got a Nook Mile thingy. Moving fees paid. Ooh, nice. 500. Cool. Now, how much is that new house? About my home. Oh, Brick! Have you made a decision about home ownership? Ready to move forward into comfort and luxury? As fun as living in a tent could be, a house gives you more space and helps you put down roots. Now, building a house means taking out a new loan in the amount of 98,000 bells. So what do you think? Ready to build your own home sweet home? Uh, thank you for your business. I'll get construction started right away. By the way, you get to choose eight different colors for the roof. Could you please select the roof color from this list? Uh, red, pink, yellow, black. I want purple. Yay, they have purple. Okay, you'll have a purple roof. I'll get that order in for you. Yes, yes. Oh, one more thing. Homeowners get an automatic Nook Mileage Program upgrade. Just give me one moment, hmm? <sighs> wow, 98,000 loans, okay. Uh, yes, yes, there we go. I've updated your program membership details, Brick. Now, when you use the Nook Miles app, you'll have access to all the Nook Miles Plus benefits. Nook Mile Plus includes a nifty way to ad earn additional miles for special circumstances. You'll see the details when you watch the app, so please give it a look when you can. That is all for me. Your wonderful new home should be ready tomorrow. Quite exciting, yes? Uh, Lil Goof says hi. Hey. Okay, so... Hmm. 98,000 bells, huh? That's, uh... That's a lot. Okay. Let's, um, get some, uh... Let's get some materials for that, uh, vaulting pole, yeah? So where's our axe? Here it is. We're going... Oh. Wow. Oh, no. Thank you for your service, faithful swarms of yaks. I agree. Uh, this sucks. Should we risk it and try to get a, a thingy? I'm thinking we should. So let's see how everything is going so far. If you're wondering what I mean by thingy. Can you join me? Um, what do you mean? Like in uh, Animal Crossing? Um, m maybe after I uh, record this video. Uh, I, I just started though, so. I don't know if uh, I'll have anything. What? Oh, these are the roses. Okay, I, I remember. Oh, money. Oh, okay. Um, where's my shovel here? It is. Nice. Ooh. 
give me a gold nugget again. Oh, is my shovel gonna break? No. I don't remember what stuff. Oh, we have mail? Oh, from Jack. Who's Jack? To my future loyal minions, I'll be creeping through on October 31st for Halloween, my dear pumpkins. Until then, contemplate this portrait of yours truly and get to work gathering lots of candy, as all good minions should. Jack, the reigning czar of Halloween. Cool. And we have something from Mom. How's new life treating you? Are you eating well, brushing your teeth, washing behind your ears? Oh dear, I'm all worked up. Here's a little something to help out. Eat it or plant it, but think of me, Mom. That's nice. You have to go to Delta Airlines? Yeah, 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 I know how to visit. It's just that I'm uh, in the middle of recording a video, you know? Oh, pears! That's... Oh. Okay, let's plant these pears immediately. We want one here. Plant. Go ahead. Okay. Where... Uh, oh, this is a pretty good spot for one right here. So let's plant this. Well, technically, already. Oh, what is this? Bells? Whoa. Look, I dug up a thousand bells. Pretty lucky. Alright, let's plant uh, our last one here. Ah, damn it. I didn't want to do that. Uh, okay. Gold? Code is okay. Yeah, again, just let me uh finish this uh recording. What? When? How long have we been recording? Thirty-two minutes. Okay. Um, I could join in a little bit. Uh, I already got the main thing I wanted to do in this episode. So this episode, I wanted to focus on um. Oh, I left something here. I wanted to focus on uh. Getting. Oh, bug. This is money. Sorry, bug. Just. Don't disappear on me yet. We love money. Money, money, money. Okay, hold on. Where's my... Where did it go? Where'd it go? Where'd it, go? Where'd it go? Are you seriously despawned? God, okay. Yeah, I already got the main thing I wanted to do in this video, so when do I end it? Um... I guess I'll end at the 45 minute mark. Uh, we're, we're just kind of chilling at this point. Um, yeah, we are kind of just chilling. Oh, hold on. There should be um, a crab or something, right? Ah, dude. I suck at this game. Go ahead, do it one more time. There we go. I got a manila clam. Manila is my favorite flavor of clam. This manila clam could be used as fishing bait. I've got an idea for a DIY recipe. Sure. Do I have a fishing rod? No, I didn't get one. I think I was going to craft one. I was going to craft the, the pole and the fishing rod if I remember. Oh, hold on. I know I'm sacrificing iron and stuff, but give me this bug. Yes, I got a centipede. 99 more and I'll have a dollar peed. Okay, I got that joke. <laughs> yeah, you're done. Oh, well. Watch that one have the gold. Let's see. What's the, the McDonald's plus? Um, yep. Cool. Sure. Sure. So we have spend bells to buy items. Plant trees or shrubs. Well, we just did that. Complete DIY projects. Sell shells. And plant flower seeds. Okay. Um, we, we could do that later on, I guess. Maybe we won't do that. Oh, what are you doing all the way down here? Um. 
this mark is fine. I broke my axe, didn't I? Do I have enough wood? No, I don't. Oh, whoa. Is this a new animal? No. A bell cricket. Let's go ahead and talk to you one more time, Jr. Hey, yo, we meet again, partner. I want to chat. I was kind of hoping life on the island would be a little bit more of a survival challenge thing, partner. Like, I thought there'd be big scary dinosaurs and exploding volcanoes and typhoons and every other Tuesday. Well, um, I guess sorry that it's somewhat safe. Are you just a normal cricket? Uh, yeah, okay. Oh, no. Stand on the line for my trusty flimsy nets. Rest in peace, all our tools. Uh, hey, buddy. Cool of you to drop in, room. My digs aren't fancy, but you can stay as long as you want. Let's talk. Hey, I just sleep last night. The island's so quiet at night, it's almost weird, room. I mean, don't get me wrong, I slept like a log. But I wouldn't want, I wouldn't mind some more action around here. You know what, that's fair. Hey, you, broom. Let's chat. I was crazy busy on my first day here. I was unpacking stuff, moving, uh, I was unpacking stuff, moving tornado, you know? But wow, broom, just knowing I'm revving up a whole new life's coming, grinning like a total fool. I'm happy that you're happy. What's his name again? It's Rocket. It's kind of a cool name. Not kind of, it, it is a pretty cool name. I can uh, appreciate that name. Uh, I'm going to charge my phone. Give me one second. Okay, now let's continue. Hmm. Yeah, there's not much we really have left to do. I, I guess we could get the museum. I guess. Let's go ahead and do that. We need another axe. We have 11 wood, but not any of the wood that actually matters. Uh, okay. Mm hmm. Probably gonna do a lot of a uh, weeding off camera. Cause no Ooh, he's back in here. Hey, buddy. Feel free to travel me anytime if there's anything you need to get help. Uh, I've been wondering. Have you noticed how delicious the food on the island is? The overwhelming happiness I experience when I eat something that makes me feel so energized. With all that energy, I completely bust a rock and then later I dig up a whole tree with a shovel. Makes me think eating this island. Uh, yeah, we've we've heard that before, I believe. So we want to sell. Welcome, Brick. How can I help you today? I want to sell. Of course. What exactly are you offering? Uh, seashells. Um, what else? Uh, I guess these crickets, sure. Look at all the fine things, yep, yep, yep. And, uh, I can buy these for your total of 920 bells. We're making steady progress to that, uh, that, um, goal we have. Let's see, anything in McMahon's Plus? You got the bug. Earn miles just catching creepy crawlies. 300 miles. Ew, one of the things is freshly delivered eggs. What is this? Oh, unparable pear. Pay dirt. I bet you didn't think you'd find berry bells here, hmm? But it's an island after all. Berry treasure and whatnot. Enjoy some McMiles. Thanks. Anything else? No. DIY recipes. Oh, we could make medicine? Oh, no. Fish bait. So first things first, let's um let's put away these bells. I don't know what they're doing in my inventory. So let's make an axe. Do we even have them to do those right now? We do. So let's make an axe. Yep. You're gonna make an axe and a fishing rod. Cool. Keep crafting. Uh fishing rod. Cool. I 
I made a flimsy fishing rod. All done for now. So what we're gonna do is we're going to make a vaulting pole. Uh, yeah. Make a vaulting pole. I don't think we needed any of those woods. We might have. Unlucky. I think we need the soft wood. Um, I should probably be harvesting peaches too, by the way. I'm not really seeing any though. Sub Donovan. Damn, you've been watching the streams consistently, bro. <gasps> oh shit. Okay, get the fuck in here. What you up to, man? How have you been spending your uh, week? Hey, how's school since you're all like busted up? What do you, how do you how do you move around? Like I, I'm like genuinely curious. Go back. Uh, you cannot sell for that much. Let's make that vaulting pool. I don't, bro. I just attend Zoom. That makes sense. That makes sense. That's what I was thinking. How do you... So, do you just, like, Uber Eats, like, everything? Damn, that must be expensive, huh? You're probably burning through cash, huh? Yikes. But my week has been alright, especially watching your streams. <laughs> um, thanks, I guess. <laughs> sure. I made a vaulting pool. All done for now. Let me know when you're good. We gotta, we gotta hop on again, bro. Let's see, make miles. Oh, we crafted three things. Cool. Nah, my mom makes me food and brings it to me. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. That's nice. Yeah, that probably saves a lot of money. I guarantee you, if you just Uber Eats everything, it, you'd, you'd be like burning like at least like a hundred every week. Maybe even more than that. Two thousand. Okay, we're doing good on the class. Um. So now that we have that vaulting pole, for sure, I have an urgent question though. Okay. What is your uh, urgent question, brother? <laughs> I'm already expecting the word, so. Oh, look, so this is a pitfall. Or not a pitfall. This is a. Uh, well, I guess it is a pitfall. It can be. Let's see. No, it's a fossil. Look, I dug a fossil. Cool. Cover that up. Oh, I'm a crab. Uh, okay. Well, I, I, we don't have a net. Right. Okay. What's your, what's your urgent question, Don? Should I make a net before I can do Oh, look at all these flowers. Damn it, we should have taken out the weeds. I could have definitely gotten a gold right there. Damn, that sucks. <sighs> yeah. You know, Donnie, um, I'm not. Uh, I bet you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, uh, but, you know, there, there's other, other creators out there that are, 
and uh, they could they could help you with that. So I'd say um oh was there a bug there and I just got rid of it. Uh, they, there's other creators out there that are men, uh, not, oh, fuck, I did it again, that are, um, oh, I can't hold stuff, damn, okay, I just dropped it, that are, um, you know, what you're looking for, so, ooh, I kind of want to catch him, let's go, uh, donate these to, uh, Blathers. Yeah, there's there's other content creators out there that can uh, support you, or not what not you, but um, support. I guess just tell them about their stories. I don't, I don't know. I wouldn't know which uh, what you're looking for, but uh, I, I'm not the one to be asking or making requests. Marvelous. What would you like to donate? Oh shit! I give them a like funny voice, huh? Oh well. Ooh, indeed, there can be no doubt. This is a fossil. Incredible, wonderful, remarkable. My intuition was impeccable. There are fossils on this island. But I digress. Back to the matter at wing. I must assess your fabulous find. Let me see here. Hmm, indeed. Hoo hoo, this is the most, uh, this is the most assuredly a uh, diny tail. My feathers, what a fabulous fossil. This Deany tail will be the, a sizable step towards. Oh fuck! I dropped the controller. Oh shit! Where is it? Oh my god! I dropped the controller. <laughs> Oops. Okay. <laughs> uh. Yep. I wonder. Would you perhaps consider donating this ancient relic to the cause? Yep. Hoots! How wonderful! I'll add this to our collection with the utmost haste. Never thought I'd lay eyes upon such a well-preserved Diony tale. Uh, dear me, I give you a short presentation on the topic. I'm quite knowledgeable, you know. Please. Wonderful. It is fascinating stuff, I assure you. Now, where to begin? Um, yes, you may not have heard of a Dianoculus, but you may have heard of its cousin, the Velociraptor. Both were predators disguised by their frighteningly huge toe claws. They also likely had feathers. The main difference between them, size. Dianoculus was about 7 feet tall and weighed 160 pounds. Little Velociraptor on their other wing was a compact 2 feet tall and weighed only about 33 pounds. <clears throat> it's my birthday today. Can you wish me a happy birthday? I've been part of the crazy community for a few months now. Thanks. It's not your birthday. <laughs> is it? It actually is in October, right? Um. Shoot, let me remember your birthday. Um, isn't it like, oh, wait, it actually is today, huh? It is today. October 2nd. Oh, shit. All right, hold on, I got you. Let me put down the controller for a second. We got to get my boy Donnie. We got to get my boy Donnie right. All right, so getting real here. I've known my boy Donnie since like elementary school, early elementary school. And, uh, you know, he's been my, he's been my bro for a while. We, uh, talk shit to each other, but it's all fun and games. You know, that's, we have a, um, you know, we have a thing. Pause, pause, pause. Not like that, but we have like a, we have like a friendship. All right. Like, uh, he's, he's close enough. Like that, Donnie, that's my guy, bro. That's my guy. Um, and it's his birthday today. Um, so happy birthday, Donnie. Uh, I still remember going to uh, Sky Zone um, <laughs> with, like, Madi and everyone. And I think we had Sam there. Dude, it's been so long since I've talked to Sam. Like, honestly, since, like, high school or something. Uh, but, yeah, me and Donnie, we always... Dude, we played every single Roblox horror game together. We, we always be, like, uh, playing. I always was the better player in Fortnite, by the way, uh, when we still played Fortnite. But, um, anyways, much love to my brother Donnie. Happy birthday, my boy. Uh, don't, I'm so sorry that it slipped my mind. I just remembered, um, I had to look, I'm not gonna lie, I had to look at my notes. I had to look at my notes. I have everyone's, uh, birthdays in my notes. Not everyone, but, like, you know, the, the people I fuck with, right? Pause. So, happy birthday, Donnie. Yeah, that's my guy right there. Yo, show some love to my boy, Flash Pepperoni, Bluesy Studios. We got, uh, Serial Ninja, right? That's your Roblox? <laughs> 
Now we got Sir Turtle. Okay, we're switching up the, the usernames. Okay, bro has changed usernames more times than me. Um, you know, I've had Killer Krabs since, like, what? Like, uh, elementary two. No, I've been Killer Krabs as long as you know me. <laughs> but, uh, regardless, yeah, shout out my boy Donnie. All right, let's get right, though. Uh, I didn't know Velociraptors were that small. I heard that people meeting celebrities are often surprised at how short they are in person. And that is what I have to say about that. Anywho, I will gladly accept your generous donation. I only hope we can find what remains on this fossil and display it in its full assembly form. Many thanks to you and best of luck. Yep, I have more shit to donate. Also applies to the fossil you brought this time, but only a specialist such as myself can appraise a newly discovered fossil to determine its prop uh, proper designation. From now on, do please bring me any fossil of unknown origins you find. Whether or not you choose to donate is up to you. Either way, I shall gladly assess it. By the by, I wonder if you have anything else. Yep, yep, I do. What is it? The centipede, right? The centipede. We're 15 minutes in, so I think I'm going to end the video here. Eek, a centipede. What a wretched thing. This is probably going to be our last thing. Alas, I'm obliged to ask. Would you like to learn more about this specimen? Sure. Uh, I see. In that case, um, the centipede's name means a hundred legs, but I'll tell you now, that's a lie. These ugly bugs have as few as 15 pairs of legs, or as many as 171. But because of how their bodies are segmented, they never exactly have a hundred. Ooh, it's true. You know what else is true? Centipedes are carnivores, aggressive and venomous. They're venomous. And their bites is quite painful, too. Horrible things, I say. Any hoot. My sincerest thanks. So thanks, bro. I'm sure all your video... <laughs> I'm sure all your viewers watching admire your humbleness. Keep keep down the good work. Or keep up. I can't, I can't see because of this stupid heart on YouTube. No, let's keep down. <laughs> uh, yeah, man. What humbleness. I'm just saying that I'm better than you in Fortnite. You know, I probably still could beat you in a 1v1. Even if I haven't played in like a year. That's just uh, me being honest though. Nice, we got some miles. Alright, we'll end it here though. So, um, I'm still gonna be streaming, um, but for all the YouTube video viewers, I guess, I'm going to, um, just continue. I'm going to, what am I gonna do? How am I, I'm gonna finish by, um, giving Blathers his 15 insects. So, if you wanna see the remaining insects, you can skip to 53, uh, 54 minutes into the live stream, I guess, of uh, live stream number two, day two, whatever. So, um, yep, I'll see you guys uh, next time for next video. Uh, not edited. Uh, this video is not edited because I have midterms. So, yep, peace. All right, bye.